Last year, Indianapolis native Carlette Duffy set out to buy her grandmother's house. Her plan? Refinance her own home to purchase the property. I did the application process um, when they asked, you know, for, you know, do you want to declare, you know, race and gender, nationality? I did all of that, said, yeah, no problem. Duffy expected her home, which she bought for $100,000 three years earlier, to appraise for around $185,000. I was shocked. I was shocked that it came back at 125. And so I challenged it. But the appraiser stood by his decision, and the lender didn't budge. So Duffy moved on, going through the process again, this time with Freedom Mortgage. The value placed on her home was even more staggering. It's 110,000. 15,000 less than the first one, which is less than three months earlier. Duffy again challenged the appraisal to no avail. Duffy applied again through a new lender. This time, she didn't disclose her race or gender in the application process, only communicated with the appraiser via email, and that wasn't all. I took all of these down so that they wouldn't be seeing my lovely ladies. I took them down. Right before we got to the appraisal portion, I met with two of my girlfriends. Both are married to white men, and I was like, okay, I need to borrow one of y'all husbands. <laughs> When the third appraiser came, Duffy was gone. Her friend's husband posed as her brother. So I was a bit, um, a bit skeptical at first um, until we saw the results. The result? Duffy's home was appraised for $259,000, more than double that of her previous two appraisals. I screamed with joy. I just was, I was so elated. And then it just, it quickly dissipated. And then it, I just cried because this is an actual, there it is, and that I'm the thing that's devaluing my house. The real problem is how we devalue people. Andre Perry, a senior fellow at Brookings, studies devaluation in black neighborhoods. Data shows Duffy's experience is not isolated. It's almost as if when people see a black neighborhood, they see twice as much crime than there actually is. They see worse education than there actually is, and they value the home in that respect. On average, homes in neighborhoods where the population is 50% black are valued at roughly half the price of homes in neighborhoods with no black residents in U.S. metro areas. Even when controlling for crime, access to schools, and other factors, homes in black neighborhoods are underpriced by 23%. That's about $48,000 per home, totaling more than $156 billion in cumulative lost equity. We have several concerns about the appraisal industry. Amy Nelson is the executive director of the Fair Housing Center of Central Indiana. If a neighborhood has been systematically discriminated against because of the race of that neighborhood, decade upon decade, comps then are going to be skewed and they're going to have bias written into them. This month, Duffy and the Fair Housing Center of Indiana filed a formal complaint with the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, alleging race-based discrimination in both her appraisal and lending process. You are taking away my family's ability to create generational wealth, which is so much more than just words. NBC received statements from the first two lenders. Both pointed to their use of independent appraisers according to industry standards. Citywide Home Loans denied any discrimination and said they are actively participating in the HUD investigation. Freedom Mortgage said they used an automated valuation model after receiving the complaint and stood by the appraised value. None of the appraisers named in the complaint responded to NBC's request for comment. As for Duffy, she used the money from the third and final appraisal to fulfill that dream of buying her grandmother's home. That's the house that my grandfather built. I hope to see my grandbaby raised in that house. And then for her to be able to then build on the legacy of her family. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.